Would you rather have three eyes or have a tail? Hello my beautiful people, this is Connor Stone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to this channel, welcome to my channel. So let's get started. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be answering some would you rather questions. Before I start, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave your comments in the comment section. So the first question is, would you rather have the ability to read other people's minds or the ability to talk to animals? I wouldn't want to be able to read other people's minds because I feel some people have like some really weird minds and you don't really want to know what is in some people's minds at times. So the best, I think it's a good idea to be able to talk to animals. But I think if you can able to communicate with your pet and they understand you and you understand them, it's going to be a lot more fun. I mean, pets are really good things to have. And also animals, just animals in general. I think it will be a good idea to be able to talk to animals. It's a better option than reading other people's minds. The next question is, would you rather have to relieve the same day over and over again for a period of one year or have three years taken off your life i'll rather relieve the same day over and over again for a year if that day is like a good day like a very good day for me but if it's not a good day but then if you have to like lose like three years of your life that may not be a good thing so i'd rather leave the same day over and over again if it's like my good day next one is would you rather have three eyes or have a tail I personally would rather have a tail because I can hide a tail if I don't want people to see it. But then having three eyes right in front of your face, I think that would look really weird. So I would love to have a tail other than three eyes. Next question is, would you rather lose the ability to talk for a year or lose the ability to read for a year? I would rather lose the ability to talk because we can communicate with people with our phones without having to say it. A word i mean we text people all the time we're not speaking to them we can still communicate with people but if you're unable to read that's like bad because I mean, you have to read to get a lot of things done i mean you're not always gonna have i know there are like features in people's phones and tablets and computers that you can just hear what is being written down but then it's gonna be much easier to be able to read so i'd rather be able to read I'd rather be able to read than lose my ability than no 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 so I would rather lose the ability to talk than lose the ability to read next one is would you rather eat your favorite food only for the rest of your life or be unable to drink anything else for the rest of your life other than water I'd rather just only drink water for the rest of my life because Eating your favorite food only for the rest of your life is going to be really boring. You're going to get so bored of that food. You're going to get so tired of eating. So I'd rather just drink water for the rest of my life. Because anyway, I drink water, like 9% of the liquid I drink is water. It's not too bad. Water is good for our bodies, so I would love that. Next one is, would you rather have no nose or no ears? I'd rather have no, no ears because... People don't always have to see your ears, like your hair can always cover your ears. But having no nose, that's just so obvious, right in front of your face. For me, I think it would look a bit awkward for me to have no nose. So I'd rather have no ears. Next one is, would you rather, would you rather be forced to live in the same place for your entire life without the ability to travel or be forced to move to the new city after every two weeks? I'd rather be forced to live in the same place for my entire life without traveling. I mean, people have lived in their hometown for the, their whole life and not traveled anywhere. And they lived long, they survived. They weren't, they were, I mean, they were fine. But then moving every two weeks to a new city is going to be so hectic, so stressful. You're going to run out of cities if you live a long time. Because how many cities are in your country? Talk, talk of your continent to now be moving every two weeks two weeks in a year how many times did you move that's a lot of times i can't even start counting it but next question is 
would you rather have the ability to breathe underwater or the ability to see at night through though it was day as though it was daytime i rather have the ability to breathe underwater because it's going to make swimming so much easier but i mean having the ability to see at night it's not so dark the streets have street lights so i'd rather have the ability to breathe underwater as much better Next question is, would you rather see into the future or change the past? I personally would rather see into my future and see how either going to make a different life choice so that if the future is not good, I can make it be better. But change the past, I think our past is a lesson for us to do better in the future. So I'd rather just um, see into my future. Next question is, would you rather wake up tomorrow with $1 million in your bank account or go back to the age of five with all the knowledge you have now? I think I'd rather have $1 million in my bank account right now because I know what I would do with $1 million in my bank account. But then going back to age five, I don't think I want to be that, that young ever again. So I'd rather just have the million dollars in my bank account and spend it wisely. Next question is, would you rather have a job that you hate with the knowledge that you have to retire comfortably after 10 years, like within 10 years, or have a job that you love or have to work till you die? I'd rather have a job that I love and work till I die because I think that will be more fulfilling and more beneficial for me. Having a job I hate and retire in 10 years, then... When we're going to be saying that stories, oh, I really hate that job, but I just did it so I could retire. That's not fun. That's boring. So, yeah. Next one is, would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 10, 20 minutes early? I'd rather be always 20 minutes early because being early is good. Being late is a bad habit. So, I don't want to have a bad habit of being late to places. So, I'd rather be 20 minutes early. Next question is, would you rather remain unknown? during your life than famous after you die or be very famous during your life and then become forgotten after you die after your death i'd rather be famous in my life and forgotten in my death because when i'm dead i don't know i'm forgotten i don't know anything about what people think about me so i think it's gonna be much better for me but i know some people who yes they died but when they, they, they died we became famous but then what we're famous for was good, which is a good thing. But then I personally would choose to be famous in my life, especially if I'm famous for something good or something that's beneficial to others. I'd rather be famous for a good thing, not for something bad. Next question is, would you rather have unlimited international, international flight first class tickets or never have to pay for food at a restaurant? I'd rather choose to have unlimited international first class tickets because I can get to fly to a lot of places in the world for free and fly in luxury which is much better than having to never pay at restaurants because I don't really go to restaurants that much I'm not really a fan of going to restaurants so I'll choose the first class tickets obviously next one is would you rather be a CEO, CEO at a small company or a low-level employee at, a, at the best company in the world. I personally would rather be a CEO at a small company because it's going to be my company. I can run it how I want. And being a low-level employee in a big company, like the best company in the world, may not be that as fun as you may it may sound because you're an employee. It's the best co company in the world, which probably means they have so many other employees. You're just one of them. It may not be something, anything special, but if you're a CEO of your company, it means you're your own boss. You're work, working for yourself. It's much more fulfilling. It's much, much more better. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, but yeah. Next question is, would you rather be the dumbest person in the world, but also the richest, or the smartest person in the world with, this, with your current network? I'd rather be the dumbest person in the world and be the richest because I can always employ people, get people to work with me that are smart. But if I'm smart and I have my current network, 
I'm not sure how far that may take me. But then if you're dumb and you're rich, it means you can always afford what you want. Get people that are smart to work with you. Yeah. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel. And you can leave your comments in the comment section. If you like a part 2, you can also let me know in the comment section. And please turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when I share a new video. So thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.